let's look at a simple example. Let's say we have a matrix A, which is 1, negative 2, 1, and 4. And we want to find the eigenvalue and the eigenvector for this particular matrix. So, as discussed in the concept video, the first step is always to find the characteristic polynomial. And uh, to do so, we have to use the determinant of lambda i2 minus a, which is equal to the determinant of lambda minus 1 minus 1 to lambda minus 4. This then gives us lambda minus 1 times lambda minus 4 minus negative 1 times 2, which is lambda square minus 5 lambda plus 4 plus 2, which is lambda square minus 5 lambda plus 6. We can factor this and this will give us lambda minus 2 times lambda minus 3, which means that if we equate this uh, characteristic polynomial to 0, then we'll get lambda equals to 2 and lambda equals to 3. Therefore, the two eigenvalues are 2 and 3. And then next, we would like to find the eigenvector associated with these two eigenvalues. So let's first consider the uh, space for which the eigenvalue is 2. So what we do here is we consider the matrix lambda i2 minus a, which is equal to lambda minus 1 minus 1 2 lambda minus 4. And if we sub uh, lambda equals to 2 into this matrix, then we have 2 minus 1, which is 1, negative 1, 2, 2 minus 4, negative 2. And if you try to find the null space of this matrix, then the, what we can do is we can reduce echelon form uh, for this matrix. We find reduce echelon form, and uh, since the first row is a multiple of the second, so we can just eliminate the second row, which then gives us 1, negative 1, 0, 0. And uh, to find the null space of that, all we have to do is to solve the equation the homogeneous equation. And uh, since there is no leading one on the second column, x2 will be equal to a free variable t, and x1 is also equal to t. And uh, this gives us 1, 1 as the eigenvector for uh, lambda equals to 2. And uh, if we look at the space where the eigenvalue is 3, then we do the similar substitution, and uh, we get 3 minus 1, 2, negative 1, 2, negative 1. And since the two rows are multiples of each other, we can then reduce them to 1, negative half, 0, 0. And uh, similarly, we can do solve the uh, homogeneous linear system of equation. Then in this case, we'll get x2 equals to r and x1 equals to half r which then gives us half and 1 and this is the eigenvector for lambda equals to 3 and hence we have found all the eigenvalue and eigenvectors for the matrix A